also that in the last days perilous times shall come for men will be lovers of self covetous boastful right the next one is arrogant arrogance now the king james there translates that as proud there's a, there's a difference a little difference between proud and pride and, and arrogance because you can be arrogant in, in the truth i mean you know well, something and, and you, no, you can back down. You can appear arrogant. Right. You can okay. appear. Right. I, I believe, well, let me just give you the dictionary definition again. Mm -hmm. It's a sense of superiority, mm -hmm. of self-importance, or entitlement. That's what arrogance okay. is. Yeah. And I believe with all my heart that Paul would have appeared to many, many people as being arrogant. Yeah, yes. And the reason he would have appeared that way is because he wasn't open-minded. No. He knew what he knew, mm -hmm. and he knew in whom he believed. Mm -hmm. So he wasn't gonna, you know, he wasn't gonna be open to let's sit down and see if I'm right or if I'm wrong. I'm not gonna be open-minded about no. this. No, there's no. only one way. So I think, you know, I mean, if, if a Buddhist came up to me and said, "Well, you know, maybe, maybe you're wrong, maybe I'm right," I'm gonna say, you know what? I know in whom I have believed. That's right. And if that appears arrogant to him, it's not. I'm not trying to appear arrogant. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to I'm trying to con confess the simple fact that I believe what I believe. Mm -hmm. We we saw something the other day or the other morning, and it was about you know searching for proof of the afterlife. Proof of the afterlife. I talk to him every day. I don't you know I don't all of the scientific study in the world, all of the medical study about life after death. I know that there is life after death. Because I talk to somebody who is risen from the dead every single day. Oh, now, that makes, yeah, so that makes me look arrogant. I can't help that. But I pray that people will see the truth of what I'm saying, okay? Mm -hmm. A lover of self is focused on himself or herself, and the pride becomes arrogant when he or she looks at self as when they see self-importance, mm -hmm. Okay. And then the big lie, if you become self-important, the big lie will find entrance into your heart. You think you're important because of you. Mm. Now, you are incredibly important, but only because of the work of God in you and for you. Jesus made a statement and followed with a question in the Sermon on the Mount. He said, look at the birds of the air. They do not sow, neither do they reap, nor gather into barns, and yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Are you not worth much more than they? Matthew 6, 26. I've done a lot of studies on that. I mean, that's a question. When Jesus asks you a question, that demands an answer. Have you considered this? Are you not worth more? Yes. How do you determine the worth of something? I'm telling you very simply, because I'm not going to go into a whole study on this here, but the worth of something, the value of something is determined on what people will pay. Somebody will pay for it. Exactly. Okay? How much is your car worth? It's worth what somebody will pay you. Mm -hmm. Well, you were purchased with a price. God the Father purchased you, and he was willing, he paid Jesus Christ for you. How much are you worth? You are worth Jesus Christ. That's the truth. That's the magnificent truth. That's the truth that should excite you and send tingles through your spirit. But if you start to believe in, in self-esteem, that you're valuable because of who you are, what you've done, you'll, you'll lose this truth, I'm telling you. Your value must not be based on what you think of yourself. Self-esteem. Self-esteem is a monstrous heresy traveling through this country. I'll tell you what. It's not about what you esteem yourself. It's about how God esteems you. Okay? Mm -hmm. Okay. If you don't know that, your bubble's going to burst. And you'll find out with David. If you think you're so important, you'll find out with David, the king of Israel, and a man at the God's own heart discovered in the natural. He said, but I am a worm and not a man, a reproach of men and despised by the people. Psalm 22, 6. Because that's what you are in the natural without the touch of God 
that the Holy Spirit at work in you.